Hey guys, it's Stephanie here at Shaka Guide. We're actually taking a tour of Arches National Park today. I can't wait for you guys to come along. We're gonna check out some of the highlights, the windows, the arches. There's a lot to offer here. Let's get going. We're starting here at the park's entrance just outside of the town of Moab, Utah. And first up, we're heading to the window section of the park, one of the great spots to catch a sunrise. When you come to Arches, you wanna get up close and personal, get some good light, you wake up early. We're heading up to Window Arch right now. It's a little bit of stairs, a little bit of trail, but it's a short walk. So we just made it here for sunrise. You can even see another little arch. It's just amazing to be waking up and starting a day like this. You know, I'm just going for a morning walk. Hey, you guys, I'm here at Double Arch. This is one of the highlights on the Arches tour, so you have to check it out. It's in the window section, and there is a lot to see in here. You can actually walk up inside it, so it's really cool to check out. Keep holding it. Ah, <laughs> kind of. We're here at Balanced Rock. I don't know if I would step on that side, but if you look at it, it looks perfectly balanced. Like it could just fall at any moment. <laughs> I, okay, I really tried, but we're gonna go take the walk. It's really short, it's right off the road. So this is worth the stop, let's go. Yeah, you would never notice this on the side of the road. Hey guys. This is like one of the most exciting parts of Arches. Are you ready for this? Right there. Do you want to climb it? Too bad you can't. Okay. We're here at Delicate Arch. This is the trailhead. Now there are two ways to go. You can go see the viewpoint or you can come here to the trailhead if you want to hike up to the actual arch. So we're partway up the climb to the delicate arch. When I say climb, it's about a mile, but it's actually kind of hard to find. So if you're gonna do this in sunrise with headlamps, just make sure you're following the trail sign. When you come out here, it's totally worth it. This is actually sunrise. You can see the sun's just starting to hit it. It's so beautiful. It's just like this whole park is so beautiful. It is a very delicate arch. It's really thin on one side. You know, they don't know how much longer it's gonna be around. So come see it while you have a chance. This is the fiery furnace. Bright red, beautiful colors, and really, really narrow canyons. There's actually uh, even a small arch in there. It's more for the color, not for the temperature. It actually gets quite cool in there. It is a permitted hike, but just even coming out here to the lookout to see this in person is well worth it. We're here heading to Sand Dune Arch, but the cool thing is you stop here, you can actually do two different arches. One's about one mile, one's kind of just around the corner here. So we're gonna check out Sand Dune Arch and uh, see what it looks like. I'm holding up the arch. It's not strong enough without me. We're here at the Sand Dune Arch that's in this deep slot canyon and it's just sand everywhere. Really fine sandstone sand. Oh wow, look at this. This is crazy. We're heading to the end of the road next, where we'll reach Devil's Garden, a top spot here at Arches. There are many arches, spires, and fins, all within a few miles of hiking, including the longest arch. This is a landscape arch. This is the longest arch in North America. It's 300 feet wide and only 11 feet in diameter. You guys can see how skinny this thing is. You'll see a lot here, so it's good to plan the time to hike around. Arches National Park is home to the highest concentration of stone arches in the world. It's no wonder this is one of the most popular parks in the U.S. Now that you've got a taste for it, I hope you add it to your list. Thanks for exploring with us today. Remember, you can skip a lot of the planning by using the Shaka Guide app. We've planned out your stops with plenty of stories, history, and fun facts to go with it. We want to help you connect more with what you see and what you experience here. Any questions? Post a comment below. We're here to help you get out and explore. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun, epic destinations. We'll catch you next time.